Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is a woman with blood type O, MN and RH positive was married to a man with blood type AB, N and RH negative. They had a child. Unfortunately, there was a mix-up at the hospital. One of the following children whose blood types are listed below belongs to the couple. Which child belongs to the couple? Support your answer by briefly explaining why the other children could not have been produced by this couple. First of all, uh, there are three blood groups system here. Blood group O and AB. This is ABO blood group system. MN here and N here. It is MN uh, blood group system and RH positive and RH negative factors also one of the characteristics of the blood. So all these three characteristics are important because uh, in blood transfusion if we uh, mix up any of these characteristics the person who got the blood may die because of the blood clotting and immune response. So uh, we know that uh, female belongs to the blood group O and male belong to the blood group AB. So female phenotype O and this phenotype is made by one genotype which is O O. And male uh, blood group AB A B this blood group also made by only one genotype which is A B. And also in the system uh, we may have other blood groups such as blood group A, which is made by genotypes A, A and AO, and uh, blood group B, which is made by also two genotypes B, B and B, O. So four uh, phenotypes, blood group O, a, B, A and B, made by six genotypes. So female phenotype O and genotype O, O. So let's put this genotype here on the side. And male's phenotype is A, B and genotype is also A, B. So we put this genotype here on the top. And when we build a simple Punnett square, we can find out uh, what the progeny, what the blood uh, type can be. And here we have AO, AO here, BO here, and BO here. So as you see, 50% of the progeny would belong to the blood group A, and another 50% of the progeny would belong to the blood group B. So only this two. Uh, phenotypic blood groups are possible in the progeny. So let's now analyze our answers. So as you see we can cross out answer, uh, first answer, first uh, child cannot be the child because blood group AB and also child number 5 and child number 6 can be crossed out because they belong to the blood group O which we cannot find in the progeny uh, of this couple. So this is uh, female side and this is male side. And their children, no matter which sex uh, of the children, they can only belong to the blood group A and B. So now let's move to the second characteristic. And by the way, in the ABO blood group system we have three alleles allele A, B and O. And allele A, B are co-dominant and allele O is recessive to both allele A and B. So in the second uh, system, uh, blood group system MN, both alleles are co-dominant. So in the system we have only two alleles M and N. So when a person has two alleles M, his uh, blood group would be M. So phenotype would be M. When a person has allele M 
and allele N phenotype would be M N. So blood group M N. And when person would have two N alleles, phenotype would be N. Phenotype of the blood uh, group. So we know that female is M N and male belong to the blood group N. So that basically means that uh, this person is homozygous for the N allele, so has two N alleles. So once again, female uh, is uh, heterozygous, so M N, and male is homozygous for N allele, belong to the blood group N. When we build the Punnett square, once again, we can find all the probable phenotypes and genotypes in the progeny. So M N here, M N here, N N here, and N N here. So as you see, 50% of the progeny would belong to the blood group M N, and another 50% of the progeny would belong to the blood group N. So uh, as you see, we don't see blood group M uh, in the progeny. So we can cross out child number 4. Because child number 4 belongs to the blood group B, which is possible. But uh, child number 4 belongs to the blood group M, which is not possible. So we can cross out this child. We also can cross out child number 2. Because this child also belongs to the blood group M, which is not possible. Whether it can be N or MN. So now we left with only one answer, child number 3. But let's check RH uh, blood group. So mother is RH positive and father is RH negative. Basically RH negative means that uh, this allele is um, defective and protein is not produced. This is surface protein that is present on the surface of the red blood cells. In mother it is present. She may have two positive alleles, so two alleles that produce this protein, or she may have one allele inherited from any of her parents which uh, produce this protein and another allele which doesn't produce this protein, but still, uh, this is going to be RH positive. In other words, three genotypes are possible. So two alleles, positive and negative. Basically, this means uh, protein present, this means protein is mutated and not present. So in diploid organism, these two alleles can produce following genotypes. Positive, positive positive, negative, and negative, negative. These two genotypes would make one phenotype, which is positive, RH, positive group. And when person has two defective alleles, uh, his genotype would be RH negative. So as you see, we can characterize a relationship here as simple dominance. Uh, instead of a positive sign, we may have a capital A and for example here we may also designate a minus sign as um, small a. So capital A capital A capital A small a in simple Mendelian genetics would produce the same phenotype. So, if mother RH positive, father RH negative, that means that he belongs to this genotype, and uh, is it possible that the child also would be RH negative? Yes, it is possible. So, imagine that mother genotype is positive negative, her phenotype still would be RH positive, and we know that father is negative negative so here belong to the blood group rh negative so as you see according to this Punnett square 50 percent 
of the progeny would be Rh positive and 50% of the progeny would be Rh negative. So it is possible, so because 50% of the progeny would have a chance to be Rh negative, it is possible that child number 3 would be uh, a child of this couple. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your questions, um, comments if you have any. Uh, share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.